um, joining us, of course, to discuss depression, Dr. David Chu. David is a psychiatrist who practices at clinics and hospitals throughout Orange County. Also joining us is another Dr. David, Dr. David Feifel. He's a professor of psychiatry at UC San Diego, has treated over 200 patients with ketamine, including Maggie, who you just saw. Yeah. So what do you think, what do you think about anesthesiologists administering this? Uh, you know, um, I, I think Dr. Chu and I probably share uh, this uh, sentiment. We're very concerned about it. Uh, I, I, I think this is... Uh, I think this is a, really a, a troubling development that we're seeing that anesthesiologists are seeing the, the data come out about ketamine and depression. And since they are already doing, uh, you know, using ketamine, I think they see this honestly as, a, as an opportunity for additional you know, clients. But, but Revenue growth. It's revenue growth. A lot, and we see a lot of business models. And you've heard about some of the, the pricing. You know, it's quite exorbitant. You know, the, the key is, you know, we've trained... Uh, for, for years to specialize in depression. We understand the nuances of depression. And there are nuances. And there I think are it's so nuances. To highlight. You know, and you have to be careful. You have to know what to watch for. Patients can, can turn into, uh, can become manic if they have bipolar disorder. You have a powerful treatment. Patients sometimes, when it doesn't work, get so despondent that they might develop suicidal thoughts. And unless you're trained for that, you're really not, uh, you you're know. You're not looking for the, for the, the warning signs, right? Yes, and you're, you're just not, uh, you're not being cared for somebody who specializes in that treatment. You wouldn't go to a urologist uh, um, to treat your heart just because the, there's a new drug that urologists use. You'd, you'd want it supervised under a cardiologist who knows about the heart. And uh, I, I worry about that. Just yeah. to play devil's advocate, sure. because I'm sure there's yeah. an anesthesiologist out there who says, wait a second, we're the experts at administering this. We know how to do this. This is like LASIK surgery. The more you do it, the better you get and all that. And that, uh, you know, and that why should doctors that don't do this, uh, you know, right. uh, in other words, we're the safer party. What well, the, but, but Dr. Chu, I mean, we, we kind of part of that is that there's an ethical question, right, about, yes. like you pointed out, the specialty of psychiatry is defined as mental health mental health anesthesiology is sedatives it's it's different exactly so so uh, the analogy I would give you is I treat patients for opiate addiction uh, now if a patient comes in and says I have a back pain and I need something for my back pain mm -hmm. obviously I'm not going to give them pain medication because my specialty is not orthopedics or pain specialty but it's more in addiction so in this case uh, uh, patients who come in with depression, uh, how do we know that they were diagnosed correctly? Because uh, there is no biomarker. Mm -hmm. It's so subjective, exactly. which is, uh, I think, a biggest issue within psychiatry. But I have to ask you, because if I am a uh, treatment-resistant depressive and I'm watching you right now, and I am desperate, I don't know what to do, and I know that there are, uh, there's a clinic of anesthesiologists that we heard from tonight here in Los Angeles that can treat me and maybe give me a little bit of happiness is it worth it? Do I do I go there? What would be your recommendation? There are psychiatrists uh, who, uh, you know, like as as we do at UCSD, who 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 use this treatment. So um, you know, there, and it, and it's growing, and there's more and more. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think this I think it's important that if you are going to have this done under uh, an anesthesiologist, that um, you're, you have a psychiatrist that's involved in overseeing the anesthesiologist can carry out maybe the technical. Aspect, right. and I, I wanted to, to comment uh, on uh, on your statement about you know they are experts, but uh, anesthesiology are experts are putting people to sleep with ketamine. Right. We use sub anesthetic dose for depression. In fact, if you put people to sleep, okay. there's evidence that it doesn't have the antidepressant effect. Right. Right. So we nobody falls asleep. We use we use uh -huh. minuscule doses, and in fact, at UCSD. Um, the the committee, including the anesthesiologist, said we really don't need to be involved because these are lower doses than what we use. Well, we okay. definitely Thank know you. that yeah. uh, people want to you know reach out to you. We will give them our your information on our Facebook right. page. Uh, unfortunately, all the time that we have, Thank but you thank so you so much, much yeah. for being Excellent. here. Thank you so much. Yes. Really great. Thank you both. Yeah, thanks again to our guests, Dr. David Chu and Dr. David Feifel. Yeah, you've heard from us, and now we'd love to hear from you. So please go to our Studio SoCal page on Facebook. Be sure to like us, share any comments or questions, and we'll post your, you know, your information online as well. Yeah. Or if you prefer, feel free to tweet us about tonight's show at the Studio SoCal Twitter page. We always enjoy hearing from you. We also invite you to watch the show online as well as previous episodes of the series. Go to pbssocal.org and click on Studio SoCal. On behalf of the entire Studio SoCal team, thanks for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Right here on Studio SoCal. Thank you.